Welcome everyone. So this vinyasa practice will take us through some of the architecture of dolphin pose, exploring it in a couple of different ways, and then exploring some shapes that resemble dolphin pose as well. No props necessary for our practice together today. And we're going to begin lying on our backs, please. Bend your knees, soles of the feet to the ground, and bring your feet about mat width apart, so nice and wide. And then reach your arms above your head, bend your elbows, and grab a hold of opposite elbows with your hands. And then let the bones of the forearms and the hands get heavy here above your head. Even if they don't touch the ground, let there be a sense of weight in the arms. Close your eyes and take a few deeper breaths here, in and out through the nose. One of my favorite teachers, Kate Galepsi, said recently that the armpits are like the windows to the lungs, which I love that imagery. So see what it feels like to breathe in this position and can you encourage your inhales to move all the way up towards your collarbones, towards the tops of the sides of your ribs and into the underarms. So I was reading about dolphins the other day, and did you know that dolphins are voluntary breathers? Meaning that they do not breathe automatically, their body doesn't breathe automatically, they have to be conscious and consciously choose to breathe in order to breathe. So they don't sleep the way we know sleep. Instead, half of their brain rests and relaxes while the other half stays alert, stays awake and choosing to breathe. So can we work to emulate our amazing dolphin friends today by finding that balance of relaxation and awareness or softness and engagement, effort? all while choosing to consciously breathe. So as you continue to breathe here with the arms above the head, let the knees start to sway from side to side. Get a bit of rotation going in the hip joints, in the low back. Let the pelvis kind of rock side to side. And then keep your arms above your head, bring your knees back to center, and then pull your heels, the heels of your feet, in towards your sitting bones. Have your feet sitting bone width apart, and then press your, your feet down into the ground and lift your hips up. So squeeze your glutes, lift the pelvis higher, reach your knees away from you, get longer through the fronts of your thighs. Have a sense that you could pull your heels in towards your shoulders and that's going to fire up the hamstrings so the underside of the thighs take one more breath in as you breathe out ripple down your spine one vertebra at a time until the hips land softly on the ground and then from there lift your feet off the ground reach your hands for your knees curl yourself into a tight ball lift your head up off the ground pull your knees in towards your nose and your nose towards your knees and then take an inhale as you stretch out across the length of your mat, reach your arms above your head, reach your heels away, and then exhale, pull everything back to that tight ball. So tuck the chin, nose to knees, knees to nose. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, stretch, get really long, open up through the front of your body. And exhale, contract, pull everything in. Now bring the hands behind the thighs and start to rock up and down the length of your spine. Getting a little bit of a massage, encouraging blood flow into those big muscles of the back body. Let's take maybe one more and then we're going to stay upright, pivot towards the front of our mat and come onto all fours. So setting up for a kneeling plank pose, so not tabletop with the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna walk the hands slightly forward so that the hips come in front of the knees. Now squeeze the mat with your fingertips and create a corkscrew action with your hands here. So twist your hands down and away from each other into the ground. Take an inhale. Without bending your back, 
exhale and slowly lower your elbows and forearms to the ground. Again, straighten your elbows, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the elbows down without widening them, so forearms stay parallel. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift the elbows. And exhale, lower the elbows and forearms. Now, keep the forearms and the elbows down. Start to shift your shoulders forward and back, nice and slow. So forward towards the hands. Keep the forearms and the elbows and hands where they are. Shift the shoulders and hips back, getting a stretch under the arms. And just kind of go forward and back here. See how low you can get the shoulders as you go forward, how far back you can get the shoulders without moving the forearms. And then from there, come back to center, lift your elbows. Keep your hands and your knees wide like this, and we'll take wide cat-cow. So inhale, reach the chest forward, lift your tail, look up, and exhale, tail comes forward, tuck your chin, pull your belly away from the ground. Come back to center, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Feel free to move around here in down dog, maybe pedal out your feet. Find that deep kind of armpit breath, lifting up into the sides of the ribs, up towards the collarbone. One more breath. Modified vinyasa, inhale forward to high plank. Drop your knees to the mat, exhale, bend your elbows and hover your belly and chest off the ground. Press into the hands, pull the chest forward, cobra pose, inhale. Come through hands and knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog as you exhale. Come forward to plank pose, inhale. And drop your knees down, exhale. Kneeling plank, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower the forearms down, keep them parallel to each other without bending the back. Again, inhale, lift the elbows. And then exhale, bring the elbows and forearms down, stay. Now flip your palms up. So thumbs come out towards the long edges of your mat. Now try to stabilize the forearms and the hands here as you move forward and back. So shift your shoulders forward towards the hands, pull the shoulders back towards the knees as the hips reach back and try not to move the forearms or the hands. It's gonna get a little harder to stabilize. Let's just go for one more forward and back. And then next time you come forward, flip the palms and step your feet back. Keep the forearms down, but lift your knees as you step your feet back for forearm plank. Press the forearms down, especially at the elbows. Widen your shoulder blades behind you. Reach your tailbone back towards your heels and have a sense that you could get longer through the sides of your neck. One more breath in. And out, bring your knees down, lift your elbows up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Modified or full vinyasa, inhale forward to high plank, drop the knees or not, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Back bend of choice as you breathe in, either up dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog as you breathe out. One breath in. One breath out. Look forward, inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, walk your feet, step your feet, or hop your feet forward to the front of your mat. Heels down, reach the chest and shoulders forward, inhale. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, sweep your arms wide and high, lift them above your head, stretch up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now, keep your hands at your chest, bend your knees about halfway down, so not going for full chair, about halfway. Stay upright with the torso, so pull the heads of your arm bones back. And then keep this position, just open the arms out to the side in a cactus. So bend the elbows, pull the forearms back, and let's start to pull this into a back bend. So forearms reach back, tailbone lifts, arch your back, lift your chin and look up. 
Take a big inhale. As you exhale, reach your hands above your head. Nothing changes with the knees. Interlace the fingers and take the back bend out of it. So pull the fronts of your ribs back, tailbone points down. And then as you bend your elbows, pull your forearms together in front of you as the elbows come closer to the chest. Knuckles under your chin. Inhale, press the knuckles into the chin to lift the head. And then exhale, bow forward. Lengthen your spine forward, inhale. Left foot steps back as you exhale, just the left foot. Nice long lunge. Left fingertips stay down or flatten the palm of the left hand to the mat. Reach your right hand up for a twist. Take another breath. Right hand behind the head. So hold the back of your skull with your right hand. Press the back of your head into that hand. Let that widen your right elbow. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, turn your belly and chest down and cross your right elbow towards the left elbow. So twist under. One more. Inhale, twist open to the right. And exhale, twist under. Come back to center, reach the right hand high. Inhale, twist. Exhale, both hands down and drop your back knee to the mat. Bring your hands up onto your front thigh, please. And then again, like we just did in standing, cactus your arms out to the side. Pull your forearms back. Let that pull the chest and the ribs forward. Look up, inhale. Now as you exhale, reach the hands up and interlace the fingers. Pull the back bend out of it. Bend your elbows, bring the forearms together as soon as you can, and then bring the knuckles under the chin. Use the knuckles to press the chin up. Inhale, stretch the front of the neck. And then exhale, look forward. Bring your hands forward and down, inhale. Exhale, step the right knee back to meet the left for kneeling plank. From there, corkscrew the hands, bend the elbows, bring the forearms down to the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips up, bring your head between your upper arms as you walk your toes forward slightly and then press your thigh bones back for dolphin pose. So really press your forearms down here. See if you can lift the shoulders slightly towards the ears while keeping the crown of the head away from the ground. And the more that you can press into the forearms and press the thigh bones back, the longer we'll get through the sides of the waist. One more breath. Bring your knees down to the mat. Widen your knees, child's pose. Now, forehead down, elbows stay down. Make fists with your hands. And then as you bend your elbows here in child's pose, feel how your hands want to come together. They naturally want to come together. Let's counter that. <laughs> Let's find the opposite. Widen your fists away from each other as you bend your elbows. So finding that external rotation in deep shoulder flexion, which is quite challenging. One more breath. Release the forearms down. Lift your head slightly. Keep your hips reaching back and low and crawl your forearms and your hands back so that the elbows come into your inner thighs, palms down. So a little baby crow prep, squeeze the inner thighs into the upper arms, lift your chin forward, and then find a bit of stability by pressing the elbows slightly into the inner thighs that are squeezing in. Find one more breath. Walk the hands forward, come to hands and knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Stay or vinyasa, inhale forward to high plank, drop the knees or not, exhale chaturanga, lower to a hover, back bend of choice as you inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. 
Look forward, inhale, lift your heels, grip the mat with your fingers, bend your knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward. Drop the heels, reach the chest and shoulders forward, inhale. Bow as you exhale. Stand up, reach up, stretch up. And exhale, hands to your heart, pause. Bend your knees, come back to that regressed chair pose, and then bring your forearms out to the side. Cactus your arms, bend the elbows. Pull the chest forward as the forearms reach back. Tip your tailbone up, arch your back, look up, inhale. As you reach the hands up and interlace the fingers, take the back bend out of it. Inhale, pull the elbows together as they bend, forearms together, knuckles under the chin, and then lift the chin by pressing the knuckles underneath the head. And then look forward and bow over your legs. Lengthen your spine here, inhale. Right foot steps back to a lunge as you exhale. Right fingertips stay down, or flatten the palm of the right hand, reach the left hand up for a twist. Feel the chest reach forward between the upper arms. Pull the left fingernails back in space slightly. Now bring this top hand, the left hand, to the back of your head. Grip the back of your skull, lean the head back into the hand, open the elbow wide, inhale. Now twist belly and chest down, and then bring the left elbow towards the right, exhale. Again, inhale, lift and open. And exhale, twist underneath. Lift back up, reach the left hand up, inhale. Exhale, both hands down and bring the back knee to the ground. Bring your hands onto your front thigh, stabilize the legs. Find the cactus arms to the side, bend the elbows. Pull the forearms back, reach the chest forward, inhale, back bend. Exhale, reach up, interlace the fingers, take the back bend out. Inhale, reach the hands higher, and then exhale, bend the elbows in front of you. Pull the forearms together as they come down. Knuckles under the chin, inhale, lift the chin up. And exhale, look forward and down, bring the hands down to the mat. Step the left knee back to meet the right in kneeling plank and then bring the forearms down, elbows down, tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips. As the head bows between the arms, walk your feet forward slightly for dolphin pose. Press the forearms down. Try to keep pulling the elbows in as opposed to letting them slide out. Get longer through the sides of your waist by pressing the thigh bones back reaching the sitting bones higher, one more breath. Drop your knees to the mat, child's pose, knees wide, big toes together. Once the forehead lands, bend your elbows and make fists with your hands again, widen your fists apart. Get wider with the hands, super hard. Find that stability work in the shoulder within this shoulder flexion. One more breath. And then bring the hands down. Now from here, lift your head and walk your elbows, your forearms, your hands back again. Bring your elbows to the inside of your thighs. And then for this time, interlace your fingers under your chin. Press the forearms down, squeeze your knees into your upper arms. So knees are on the ground. We're just getting the framework here for baby crow as we look forward with the chin. One more breath. Walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Conscious breathing, just like our dolphin friends. <laughs> Left leg to the sky as you breathe in. Left knee comes forward towards the chest as you exhale and then step the left foot forward between your hands. Lift yourself up into crescent lunge. 
and then again, cactus your arms out to the side, pull the chest forward, pull the forearms back, take an inhale in your back bend, and exhale, reach the hands up and take the back bend out of it as you interlace your fingers. Reach higher, inhale, bend your elbows, forearms slide together as they bring them closer towards the chest. Knuckles under the chin, lift the chin, stretch the front of the neck, and then exhale, look forward. Reach your hands above your head again, inhale. Now bend your elbows, but hold opposite elbows above your head. Pull the biceps back in space, pull the ears back in space, let the front of your chest stretch. Feel that stretch under the arms as well. Imagine you could breathe all the way up into your armpits. One more breath. Now keep the arms as they are. Pivot the back foot as you turn towards the right for warrior two. Outer left knee keeps widening out to the left. One more breath with the arms like this. Now bring your arms behind your back and interlace your fingers and then bring your hands to the front of your left thigh. So around the left side of your waist towards the front leg, and then see if you can flatten the palm of your right hand onto your upper left thigh. <laughs> and then keep that, maybe it's just fingertips, and then reach the left hand back for reverse warrior. One more breath. Come through warrior two, open the arms to a T. Extended side angle, lean to the left. Left forearm across the right, the left thigh, pardon me, and right arm across the right ear. Pull your left ribs towards your right ribs. Pull your pubic bone forward. Press your left heel down more. With this top hand, bring that hand behind the head Pull the right elbow back, inhale, open. As you exhale, slowly twist down, bringing the right elbow towards the left knee and left elbow. One more like that, inhale. Exhale, twist down. Inhale, twist open and reach the right hand up. Exhale, reach the right hand down to the inside of the left foot and lift your back heel. So setting up for side plank on the right here, options are to slide your front foot about halfway back as you pivot to the outer edge of your back foot, using that left foot as a kickstand, or stack the left foot on top of the right. Feel the right side of your waist lift away from the ground. One more breath. Plank pose, inhale. Kneeling plank, exhale, so just knees down. Bend your elbows, bring the forearms down. Keep the forearms parallel, tuck your toes, lift your knees, bow your head between your upper arms, walk your feet forward. Dolphin pose. Option in dolphin pose to lift a leg. Three-legged dolphin. Bring that leg down and lift the other leg. Bring that leg down, child's pose. Bend your elbows, make fists with your hands. Pull the hands back as you bend the elbows and widen the hands as far apart as you can for three, for two, for one, and then bring the forearms down. Take a breath in in child's pose. And a breath out. Come forward to hands and knees. Inhale. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Stay or vinyasa. Inhale forward again to high plank. Shoulders shift forward. Drop the knees or not. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra pose. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts to the sky. Inhale. Right knee comes forward to the chest and then step the right foot forward between your hands. 
From there, lift your hands up into crescent lunge. Bend your elbows out to the side, cactus your arms, pull the forearms back, let the chest and ribs open. Inhale. Exhale, hands lift, interlace the fingers, take the back bend out of it. Now reach the hands higher, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows in front of you, squeeze the forearms together as they come down. Knuckles under the head, inhale, lift the chin. And exhale, look forward. Now reach the hands up again, inhale. Grab opposite elbows as you exhale. Lift the elbows higher, inhale. Lean back as you exhale. One more breath in. Pivot the back foot to warrior two. One more breath with the arms like this. Bring the hands behind the back now. Interlace the fingers. And then wrap your hands towards the top of your right thigh. So around the right side of your waist, right, right at that hip crease. And then see if you can flatten the left palm onto the upper right thigh. If that's not happening, just bring the small of the, or bring the back of the hand to the small of the back. Otherwise, keep that pressing down and use the left hand or fingers to actually press the right thigh bone down and forward as you reach the right hand up and back for Exalted Warrior. One more breath. Come through warrior two, open the arms. Extended side angle to the right as you exhale. So forearm across the right thigh, left arm across the left ear. Now from here, this top hand, the left hand, bring that to the back of your head. Press the head into the hand, open the elbow wide, inhale. As you exhale, twist down and under. So left elbow towards the right knee. One more time, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Reach the left hand up. Exhale, left hand down to the inside of the right foot. Lift the back heel, setting up for side plank on the left, either sliding or heel toeing that foot halfway as you pivot to the back edge of your back foot. Or stack the right foot on top of the left, with the right hand lifting up. Think everything is lifting up from the right fingers. So right ribs lift, left ribs lift, hips lift. One more breath. Plank pose, inhale. Kneeling plank, exhale. Elbows, forearms down, inhale. Dolphin pose, exhale. Walk your feet forward slightly. Pike your hips up more. Get longer through the sides of your waist. Send your breath into your armpits. Find that dolphin balance <laughs> of relaxation and awareness or softness and engagement. Effort. Have both. One more breath. Drop your knees down. Walk your hands forward and come all the way down to your belly. From here, cross your forearms, one in front of the other, it doesn't matter which, and have them just in front of your chest. Imagine that you could pull the forearms back towards your belly button and then let that pull your breastbone forward. So take an inhale here. As you exhale, tuck your chin, press your forearms down, press your knees down, lift your hips and your low belly off the ground, look towards your navel. Again, melt the thighs, the hips, the belly and the ribs down, reach the chest forward, inhale. And then exhale, look under you as you lift the belly and lift the thighs, so knees pressed down. Come back forward, thighs down, hips down, Low belly down, inhale, look forward. Now as you exhale, bow forward with the head and bring your hands out wider than your mat. Tent your fingers, so fingertips down. 
pull the elbows back, press into your fingertips and pull your chest up, pull your ribs forward, stretch your belly, wide cobra with fingertips down, and then exhale, release and fold. Now this time, inhale, lift. As you exhale, right shoulder comes forward, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Left shoulder comes forward, twist to the right, exhale. One more each side, inhale. Exhale, right shoulder forward. Inhale. Left shoulder comes forward as you exhale. Come back to center. And slowly melt belly, ribs, and chest down. Bring your hands under your shoulders, please. Press to all fours. And then tuck your toes under. Walk your hands back towards your knees. With your toes tucked, lift your knees off of the ground. Widen your knees apart and reach your bum towards your heels as you walk your hands back for saddle pose. Now we're not gonna stay here in balance, so keep your hands in front of you. We're gonna use this as a transition to explore baby crow pose, baby bakasana or baby kakasana. So remember we had the two options of the forearms down and the palms down. I personally like to practice this pose with interlaced fingers. So one or the other, <laughs> reach your hands and your forearms down. Now from there, Bring your inner knees to your upper arms and squeeze them in. Squeeze, 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 look forward, lift your chin, come forward with the shoulders and the chin, and then lift your feet off the ground. So my chin, my nose, is just a couple inches off the ground, squeezing like crazy with my inner thighs for three, for two, for one. Rest in a child's pose. <sighs> Forehead down and then turn your head side to side, just getting a little massage through the forehead, but also just kind of evening out, smoothing out the sides of the neck. Take one more deep breath here. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Round yourself up to sit. So for our last flow in our practice, you'll have the option to, if you'd like, to lift a leg like we did in dolphin pose. Find three-legged dolphin pose and then maybe swing and kick the other leg up for forearm balance or pinchamayarasana. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in trying, but maybe you haven't done it before, move your short edge of the mat, of your mat, to a wall space. So if you need to do that and you want to explore that pose in our next flow, just press pause, move to a wall space so the short edge of your mat is close to a wall space. And then that makes it so that you don't have to navigate that fear of falling over past yourself, yeah? So either way, we're gonna start in downward facing dog. Using downward dog to find that balance of softness and effort, engagement with a sense of relaxation, holding both at the same time. Consciously breathing. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your thumbs. High lunge, inhale. Hold opposite elbows as you exhale. Pivot the back foot flattened down for warrior two. And then bring your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Bring your knuckles, your hands, to the left side of your waist. And then see if you can flatten the palm of the right hand down onto the thigh. My mic is kind of in the way. <laughs> Keep that, reverse your warrior. Reach the left hand back, get longer through the inner left thigh. Warrior two, inhale. Extended side angle to the left as you exhale. Right hand behind the head, inhale, open the elbow. Twist the elbow down and to the left as you exhale. Reach the right arm high, inhale. 
right hand to the inside of the left foot, exhale, lift your back heel, come into whatever variation of side plank on the right that you would like. So outer blade of the right foot down, lift the right side of your waist away from the ground. One more breath. Plank pose, inhale, kneeling plank, exhale. From kneeling plank, bring the forearms down. Think about bringing the elbows to your inner shoulder width apart, so a little narrower than you think. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Walk your feet forward, either stay in dolphin. You can also use this time to explore baby crow again, or maybe look forward, bring your shoulders forward slightly, soften at the center of your chest, and then maybe lift a leg and take little hops towards forearm balance. Breathe. And then come down when you're ready, child's pose. Take two deep armpit breaths. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Right knee forward, step the right foot between your hands. Inhale, lift your hands up, crescent lunge. Exhale, grab opposite elbows. Warrior two, inhale. Settle as you exhale. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Wrap the hands towards the right side of your waist and see if you can flatten the left palm down onto the top of the right thigh. Keep that, right hand reaches up and back, exalted warrior. Warrior two, inhale. Extended side angle to the right, exhale. Left hand behind the head, lean it back, inhale. Exhale, twist the left elbow down and under towards the right. Inhale, lift up, lift the left hand up. Exhale, left hand comes down to the inside of the right foot and then coming into side plank on the left. So lift the back heel, come into any variation that you'd like. Take one more breath. Plank pose, inhale. Kneeling plank, exhale. So setting up for either dolphin pose again baby crow pose from that saddle position or from child's pose, or pincha mayarasana forearm balance. Forearms come down, elbows in. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Walk your feet forward, look forward. Shift the shoulders forward, lift one leg and maybe take hops. When you're done playing, child's pose. <laughs> Focus your awareness on your shoulders. Feel all that space you've created in the shoulders. All that softness and all of that strength. So space, stability, strength, and softness. Can we hold space for all of that? Slowly walk the hands back towards the knees Round yourself up one vertebra at a time. From here, 
We're going to turn around to face the back of the mat as we sit on our bum. Extend your legs. Bend your right knee and step the right foot across the left thigh. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right fingers reach behind you, fingertips to the ground. Now use your left hand to pull your right knee across your body as you pull the back of the right shoulder back. Turn your chin to the right. So engage through the side of your neck, the right side of your neck, to really find that rotation of the cervical spine. One more breath. Untwist, let's find the other side. So extend your right leg long and bend your left knee. Step the left foot across the right leg. Right hand to the outside of the left knee, left fingertips behind. Pull the back of the left shoulder back. Reach the chest between the shoulders. Pull the left knee across the body as you twist the right and left ribs to the left. And just like the dolphins, take a couple of conscious breaths. Make the choice to breathe. Untwist back to center and extend your left leg long. Now from here, just widen your legs, heels at least mat width apart. Slowly lower yourself all the way down to your back where we're going to take our rest. Very tempting with at home practices to kind of turn your device off now, kind of end it here, which is fine if you don't have the time. Otherwise, commit to this stillness. Let this be as much of your practice as any of the other asanas that we explored today. And use this as an opportunity to savor the gift of our breath, which is different from dolphins, right? We can switch over to automatic breathing, letting our body take over so we don't have to think about it. So soften your focus on the breath. Instead, can you feel your body take over your inhalations and your exhalations for you? So keep the physical body at rest. Start to let your awareness drift back to your body breathing 
and then get more conscious with the way you're breathing. So bring back that consciousness to what was an unconscious behavior of the body. And notice the effects of focusing on the breath on your mental and physical state. What a gift it is to have the choice to breathe deliberately or to let yourself be breathed. If you're craving a longer Shavasana, go ahead and pause your device. Otherwise, start to awaken your fingers and toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. For a few breaths, just take any movement here on your back that feels nice. And then roll yourself to one side into a fetal position and press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Close your eyes, sit up tall. May we go forward and find that balance between rest and awareness, between softness and engagement, all while choosing to let the breath carry us through it all. Bring your hands together in front of your beautiful heart and thank yourself for showing up today here on your mat in body and mind and offer yourself a deep bow of love and gratitude here. Namaste.